everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to be revealing my grill. I'm in a a grill build off, a barbecue grill build off. I'll get to more on that here in a few minutes. But first, this lighting's not right. Let's move this thing. Let's get you set up somewhere where the lighting's a little bit better. So stick around, guys. Okay guys, so here's the deal on this. I got challenged uh, to a build off and uh, he let me choose and I chose a, to build a barbecue. Well, um, everything was going good and uh, Pepito's cast the day welding. Uh, I haven't heard from him in several months since uh, back in June or July. Um, this is November right now, the 7th. So. Pappy, if you're watching this, I hope everything's going all right. He had some personal issues, which I'm not going to disclose on here. But so hopefully everything's going well. So if you're watching this, buddy, you take your time. When you, when you get yours done, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and reveal mine now. And uh, so if you're watching this, man, Godspeed to you, brother. So anyway, to the grill. Uh, as you can see, I put it on a rally. Pretty suiting for a gearhead, right? I put it on a rally mobility scooter. Now, I built the grill, but let's go over some of this. Let me get you off the stand. I'll show you some about the, about the scooter, and I'll talk a lot about the grill. Then we're going to see it in action. So hang tight guys, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I know the lighting is horrible, but uh, if I go two more feet over, I'm gonna be way too much sun. And if I come over here more, it's probably gonna be too dark. But what we have here is, we have the Rally Mobility Scooter, the three-wheeler with the vintage wood grain on the side. That's right. We have a headlight, forward reverse, variable speed control. I've got it on Rabbit now. I've got the on off switch there. And it does have the, the gauge, if you can see the gauge moving up and down. That's my fuel gauge for the battery. It does have a horn button. I do not have a horn on it. The horn once lived right there. As you can see, someone drilled a hole up into it. Uh, <laughs> I figure her dad did that. <laughs> Somebody did it to, because the horn was going off all the time, or you know, pushing the horn. And also, when you go in reverse on these things, they beep. So, there's that. It does have a lever here. You release this lever, and you have tilt steering okay I don't know if you guys seen or not but it does have a headlight for dark time all right now there's something else I'm going to show you here shortly too this you pull this lever here out and you can turn the grill for more level space. I just keep it like this. Also, this has the ever so needed wheelie bars. Because this, though it's not positive traction, because it's a three-wheeled 
it's a three wheel vehicle and it would be hard to turn it is an open differential just like your car may have okay here is neutral you pull that up if you need to push it push it down and that engages it there's my uh, main power circuit breaker and right there's where you plug it in I got me a piece of paper here to tell you more about what it's running it is running to 12 volt UB 12350 35 amp hour batteries they are 12 volt each and they're running series which makes it a 24 volt to run the 24 volt 16 amp 4000 rpm electric motor that's right this thing is one bad mother now, that's pretty much it for this now the grill this grill used to be a harbor freight I back down huh used to be a harbor freight air compressor all right this is the tank from the air compressor it was given to me I have used this grill as you might be able to see these grates are out of an actual gas grill uh, so I have used this this handle is part of the foot where the wheels bolted here and here okay for the air compressor tank which it was I believe on this side okay now I took it off because I wanted to use the handle I do have another handle off of a grill back there but I wanted to incorporate as much of the air compressor into this build as possible so I use this for the handle I may change it later but for now it's pretty cool this piece came off of our gas grill I scavenged it off the gas grill this is where I hang my little tools on you'll see that shortly um, this came off the gas grill so there's only three items on here that actually came from a grill and it is the grates the tool hanger handle and the temperature gauge lest we forget about this this is a miter cut turn down exhaust tip from advance auto i did buy that they're not sponsoring me i bought this at advance auto it's a piece of uh piece of exhaust pipe this is an exhaust pipe reducer right here for my inlet what that does is i control how much air I want to go through it brings air in goes across the coals fills up with smoke or however much smoke you want you can adjust with that this then it comes out the top up here so your meat is really really smoked good I've never I've never had an issue smoking with this I was going to build a smoke box for it that's where you put your wood or your wood chips or whatever you're using in here and the smoke cooks what I do is I will I usually build my fire right in here which we're going to be using charcoal as you can see I use charcoal and usually throw a piece of wood on there for the smoke and I use indirect heating to cook my meat on the side and I've never had an issue with the smoke flavor it tastes just as good as being out of a smoker so this is a grill slash smoker now this part up here I've got these these on here they're just bolts and I've got these nuts right down here there and there I'll show you what that's for and I'll explain to you why You can do that okay so now what we do we take these out and pins out like that and like that okay now we can take this lid off 
uh, and it's open. So what this can, whoa, almost dropped my camera guys. What this can do, this will lift up off of here and I can't do it because my back is so sore, but this will lift up off of here, set perfectly on the ground. So that way, if you want an open fire, like a fire pit, you, you take your grates out and now you have a fire pit you can sit down, throw marshmallows, hot dogs, or whatever. And then to put it back on, it just sets right down in to that rod right there, that piece of pipe. This is all, this is what the chair used to bolt onto. This is all part of the frame. None of, none of that has been modified except for this. Okay, that was where the chair was. So it will lift up off and you can use it for a fire pit like i said i have used this grill a couple times and it has done phenomenal i will tell you how much money i have in this i have about 37 dollars invested in it in the pipe the exhaust tip and the paint and that's all i've had to buy for this thing oh and i did have to buy the hinges and that handle right there i don't know what you're seeing because that handle right there so i got about 37 dollars in it that's including tax this is cut out of this as you can see this is just a bolt welded on there this is cut out of the uh plat the platform the mount for the air compressor motor now this is just an old socket, an old rusty socket I had laying around. This is the stop to keep it from going all the way over. Now, for those of you that are wondering, does this get hot? No, it does not. It gets hotter in the sun than it does cooking with it. Does that get hot? No, that, that, that temperature on that, that is plastic, it never changes. That temperature stays the way it is. Heat rises, guys. So... I have one more thing to show you and then we're going to fire this puppy up and we're going to make some pork chops and I'm going to put some potatoes and onions in a in aluminum foil. We're going to cook them on this side. We're going to cook the pork chops over here. Okay, but I have one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so what barbecue party would be a barbecue party without some entertainment? Okay, let's talk about this for a minute. What I want to do is I want to incorporate a table in here. Now, of course, you don't want it behind. I can't put it here because the uh, intake. And I don't want to put it here because this does get hot for the stack. So what I think I'm going to do is I've got some more of this pipe. I think I'm going to make a piece come out at maybe a 45 degree angle, come out and up, and as you can see there's a weld nut there, and I've got the knobs, I can put a knob in there, I can make this removable and hang it on here when not in use. When in use, I can put the table into here, tighten that nut down, and I'll have a table at an angle this way, so I can grab my stuff and my seasonings and whatnot like that there's always something that I'm gonna to want to do with this thing 
Uh, this thing will run eight miles an hour, believe it or not, up to six miles, depending on the hills. Flat road, it'll go six miles on one charge at eight miles per hour. If you tone it down, and let's say you're running walking speed approximately four miles per hour, you can get a little longer on a straight ground on one charge. So, you guys like it so far? I'm going to uh, I'm going to let this burn down some. I've got my got my damper open. I was going to put a damper in my stack. I found out I've used this a couple times. Like I said, I found out I do not I do not need a damper in this stack. This one works perfectly fine. So while that's getting ready, I'm going to go cut up some potatoes and some onions and put them in some tin foil. And we're going to have some mushrooms. I think I will also cook on here with the homemade fry pan that we made a couple weeks ago. And uh, you'll see how it does. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but we are now up to. 350 degrees Fahrenheit so we're going to go ahead and put our potatoes in and we're going to let these cook for 15 minutes then I'll flip them over we'll let them cook for 15 more minutes
get these off of here. That monkey over here holding a tray for me. That one will be Bruno's. Bruno, it's hot. Dang, he got lucky. Yeah, he did, a whole one. I was only gonna give him a half of one. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, as you guys may have noticed, I didn't put any tin foil or aluminum foil on here. I don't do that, I never do that, and I never will. And the reason why I don't do it is I like the flavor that this gets. What I do, is I'll leave it like that. It keeps it from rusting. Also, when I fire it up and the grates get hot, what I'll do is I'll clean it then. There's nothing can survive on here. No germs, anything like that can survive on this, nothing. So, what it is, is this, this stuff here, you know, this is seasoned, it gives it flavor. I look at it this way, if I'm gonna put aluminum foil on it, I might as well just put it in a pan. So, this one's Bruno, so he'll get that one. So, yeah, he did. That one was going to be mine, but. <laughs> okay, guys, so there it is. It's all done. It's cooking fine. Like I said, I've used it a couple times before. Was it cheating? Yeah, kind of, but I wanted to make sure it was going to work all right. And then, um,. So I went ahead and I put another fresh coat of paint on it a couple days ago. And um, so, yeah, this thing works fine. The great thing about this, with this lid closed, it'll stay at 350 degrees for several hours. Probably like three hours before it starts dropping the temperature. Uh, the bad thing is, it'll stay at 300 degrees for several hours. Because I like to put this in the garage, because there's a lot of electronics in here. <laughs> But I like to put this in the garage, so I let it cool down to at least 200 degrees, and then I can back it in the garage, and it's fine then. Um, it'll be reading 200 degrees on the thermostat there, but uh, you can actually hold your hand on it and not get burnt. So you can still, like if you wanted to uh, stoke the coals up a little bit, you can still throw some marshmallows on it. Like I said, you can take it off of there, put it on the ground. I couldn't lift it, so. But you can do that and take the lid comes off so you can have a fire pit, right, Mama? Yep. Which we haven't used it for that yet, but we're going to. Um, so, again, Pappy, if you're watching this or if anyone knows how Pappy's doing, please let me know. Hopefully you're doing all right, buddy. You know, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. Now, <coughs> the build. The build video will be right after this one. So, I... I filmed everything. Uh, there was a couple times I forgot to turn the camera on, but I did film pretty much everything of it being built up to the first uh, the first fire that we put in it. And now you're seeing it here. So the next video will be of that. So I think Monkey's getting hungry. She's got Bruno's bowl there <laughs> for him. <laughs> so I think I told you pretty much everything about it. You know, it's got the, the gray go fast wheels on it. Um, yeah, this thing is super fast, you know. Uh, if you're racing the turtle, I see some fast turtles though, but I think I could take them. Uh, you tried. So, but, so anyway, there it is. Um, I told you everything about this scooter. This scooter will, will not, will not run like five miles. You know, the batteries are shot. Uh, the batteries are so expensive. She just wanted to throw it out to the side of the road. And I said, no. And she said, what are you going to do with it? I said, I don't know. And then when I got a challenge, I said, now I know. <laughs> so now we're using it, and she loves it. Yep. Don't you? Yep. All right, guys. We all do. <laughs> so stay tuned. Next video will be the build video on this. But I want to do the reveal first. So. And uh, I got another tank around back. I'm going to be, I'm going to build another one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to build it to sell though. It's smaller than this. Uh, this is huge. I could probably fit. I measured it. If you get the pre-made patties, hamburger patties, I could fit 20 patties on there. Be great so, for a big family, big party. I'm talking party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, Monk. Mm -hmm.
Mike Sish stuff now, y'all. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And again, you know, Pappy, if you're watching, uh, hope you're doing good, buddy. Yeah. And we'll see y'all soon. Bye bye and take care. One more thing. I forgot to show you my apron monkey got for me a while back and I kept forgetting to wear it and today I remembered and I thought well today's the perfect day to wear my new apron thanks monkey <laughs>